Hey guys, it's Ken from webdigit.com. Welcome to the first screencast in the SEO 101 from webdigit.com series. These series are aimed to teach you the basics of SEO. The advantage of uh, these series is that they are very detailed and visual. You'll learn not only what you need to do, but I'll show you how exactly you need to do it. There is no one else that offers this sort of crash course on SEO out there. So you're starting to do a unique SEO course that will take you from zero to hero. So let's touch on the actual thing that uh, we'll be learning, which is SEO. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And the aim of any SEO dude is to make sure that Google and other major search engines like a site. In my upcoming screencasts and uh, blog post on uh, webisy.com, I'll dwell on every single method in great detail. For now, just memorize what SEO means. On to the next slide. SEO and inbound marketing have been used interchangeably for a while now. The reason for that is the uh, somewhat negative reputation that SEO abbreviation has gotten, because a whole lot of SEOs Practice monkey business SEO methods that either don't help or even harm sites. So in order to separate themselves from indecent SEOs, decent ones started calling themselves inbound marketers and they uh, say inbound marketing instead of SEO. The main metrics that is used in SEO is called rankings. Rankings are basically the places that uh, your keyword take in Google search result pages. As an SEO, you need to do your best to make sure your site ranks number one for your keyword. The next slide gives you an example of how that works. As you can see over here, webdesign.com is ranked number one for the Web Design Bureau keyword. Don't be confused by the, by the results on the, on the yellowish background, because these are paid results. And uh, that's, that's why we don't take them into consideration when we deal with organic search results. Since webdesign.com is number one for, for the keyword, over 50% of people who search for Web Design Bureau will click on that snippet, on that link, and come to our site. You need to strive for the same situation. Your keyword should be ranked number one or at least be uh, on the first page uh, of search results. All right, the next slide. Since Google is the most popular search engine, we'll focus on optimizing sites for Google in the first place. There are more search engines out there, but they are either smaller or just local ones. For example, Baidu is in China, it's the leader, but in China, and Yandex in Russia. All right, to the next slide. SEO falls into two main categories, on-page and off-page SEO. On-page SEO is basically what you can do on your own site to improve rankings. Off-page SEO is what you can do on other sites to bump up your rankings uh, as much as possible. Later in the course, I'll dwell in greater detail both on on-page and off-page SEO. Now, let's move to the next slide. There are a whole lot of SEO methods that are used for promoting sites. Some of them are perfectly safe and Google does not have a problem with them. Such methods are called white hat SEO, so these are good methods. On the other hand, there are methods that Google does not want and penalizes sites if they use them. That's black hat SEO. The common characteristics, uh, characteristic of the, such methods black hat SEO ones, uh, is that they are implemented in order to some, somehow game search engines in one way or another. They just try to get high rankings without adding any value to the sites they promote. Also, some methods are sort of bad, but without evidence of being punished by Google for using them. They're basically between white hat SEO and black hat SEO. That's why that kind of SEO is called gray hat. Again, I'll touch on this topic later in the course. If you have any questions, 
feel free to get in touch with me at webdizzy at gmail.com. Again, it's webdizzy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.